What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This should be very interesting. This video is going to be interesting enough as it is, first off, because this hair situation, I shouldn't have even put on this wig, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. So today, I am filming a get ready with me chit chat. I am filming a get ready with me chit chat today and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So, let's go ahead and get started. Also, I hope you guys do not mind. I have poured me a glass of wine. So, today's topic, I'm basically just gonna be telling you guys some of my favorite shows that I've been watching on Netflix and on Hulu. So yeah, first let me go ahead and clean my brows. So I've really been trying to get a consistent schedule, a consistent uploading schedule. And this video was definitely not on my list of content, but <laughs> things happen. And the other video that I was supposed to be uploading tomorrow, Wednesday, which is tomorrow, I wasn't able to get all of the footage that I needed to get, so that one is gonna have to be put on hold. So I'm literally filming this because I need a video to go up tomorrow. So I know um, when you're starting a YouTube channel, you wanna put up you wanna put up as much content as you can, but there's no point in putting up crappy content just to put something up you know i was just like you know what let me wait and let me just focus on what i can do instead of what i can't and we will go from there this is the morphe there's no name on it but if you watched my first vlog you'll know where this brush is from so if you haven't watched that i'm gonna need you to pause <laughs> I'm gonna need you to pause, rewind, go watch it, then come back. Okay, so let's get into this first show. The first show that I would like to mention is, is that on Netflix or the whole? I think it's on Hulu, I think. It's called Little Fires Everywhere. Girl. <laughs> if you have not seen Little Fires Everywhere, you are basically behind and I'm gonna need you to catch up because first of all, there's only one season, so you have no excuse. You have none, no excuse. Definitely, if you haven't seen Little Fires Everywhere, definitely go watch it, it is so good. It's like I wanna give you a summary, but I don't wanna ruin it for those who haven't seen it yet, but basically, what is her name? Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. What is that other girl's name? I'm about to look it up right now real quick so I can give you guys a little bit uh, more detail. Carrie Washington. Carrie Washington and Reese Witherspoon. Those are my two standout characters in the show. Girl, it is good. It's like I want to give you a summary, but I don't want to ruin it. So I don't even know what else to say about it. But that show had me feeling, I had mixed feelings. I See, first of all, I didn't know how I was feeling at first, but you really have to watch it all the way through to really um, be able to appreciate the storyline. So I would definitely recommend you checking that out if you have not already. There's only one season. So if you're like me and can binge, you will probably finish it in what? Maybe a week? But it is so good. I don't think that I could carry a baby just to get money. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been put in this situation before, but that's kind of like, it's not the whole storyline, but that's like a huge part of it. Um, 
but I don't know if I would be able to go through all of that and then just, you know, carry the baby for nine months and then give it away, which she did not give it away. So that is definitely a show that you guys should watch. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 3503 palette. I don't know what look I'm going for. I'll probably go for something really, um, really simple. Um, I'm going to go in with the color Savage. I'm savage. Definitely my, that's definitely the first show that I would recommend watching if you have not because girl it is really good. The second show I have mixed feelings about because I'm not really one to get into I like funny, I like comedy movies, but when it comes to like shows, it's got to be really good. You know, it's got to be really good for me to want to watch it and continue to watch it and come back to it if it's a comedy. Because, I don't know, that's not like my favorite genre of movie. And I say all this to say, there is this show called Dave on Hulu and it's really popular on twitter for a while that is all that for a while that was all that i would see on my timeline so i decided to watch it and it is funny and there are you know some guest appearances it's a good show right it's a good show if that is what like you're into like the comedy is it's definitely like a weird humor it's definitely it's weird okay you have to have a weird sense of humor in order to like really really enjoy it but it does have its funny moments um because it is a funny show but overall i would have to say you definitely have to be in the mood to watch it because a lot of the times my boyfriend and I um, watch it and sometimes we don't know what's going on. And I think it may be like the storyline. I don't know. But I would definitely go check it out for yourself. Form your own opinion about it, you know, as with everything. Um, but yeah, if you're into comedy shows, I would definitely recommend that one for you. Another comedy that I actually really enjoy, I just started watching it, it's called Working Moms and it is on Netflix. It's, it's definitely comedy, it has a lot of, you know, kind of girl power situations, but overall, I'm definitely excited for the new season to come out. I don't know when it's coming out. Um, I kind of just watch shows and then pray that they come out with the next with another season. But I'm not for sure, but I do hope that they come out with a new season. My sister actually put me onto that show and it's so cute, honestly. It's really cute. It's definitely also really cute. like. For a girls night if you have the girls over and y'all are looking for a show to watch to make y'all laugh um it's definitely a good show for like a girls night like um yeah so that is actually a, a good comedy show that i actually really enjoy and i think you would too especially if you um listen to all these other tv suggestions that i have and you like them then we probably have similar you know tv style shows so definitely check that out what's another show so this next show actually was very controversial was very controversial because kylie jenner actually had a birthday party themed for this show 
and a lot of people were judging her for it a lot of people were judging her for it because they thought that she was like worshiping the uh, or encouraging not worshiping encouraging the lifestyle that was presented in the movie well not the movie the tv show the tv show is called um handmaid tales um i don't know if i'm the right person to explain this but basically the women were put into like categories and if you couldn't give birth then you basically i'm not gonna go into detail about it because i again i want you to watch it and form your own opinion about it but i personally really like the show i think there's three episodes let me check there's three seasons yeah there's three seasons and i actually really enjoyed the show um but i know that there is some controversy about it so like i said like i've been saying definitely watch it and form your own opinion about it um because i think it's a good show i don't agree with you know how they live their life of course i think that's inhumane first of all but the storyline i am a sucker i am a sucker for a good storyline okay and the fact and the, i think also why i like it so much is because it's got humor it's got um a quirkiness about it it's sad it's there's romance in there there's just a lot going on that'll have your emotions all over the place and i feel like those are the best kind of shows the shows that like really get you in your feelings like that is a show that i want to watch okay those are shows that i want to watch i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and i'm gonna be right okay i'm back and i have my lashes on and my eyeliner these lashes i don't know what the brand is because they came with this wig um and i'm gonna have the wig details down below but it came in this three pack and i literally have literally have one pair left the pair that i'm wearing right now is called sexy so and again i'm gonna leave that in the description box below okay so where were we tv shows another tv show that i am obsessed with but i have also finished is and me and my boyfriend actually were watching this together but i kind of continued watching it without him so <laughs> but i finished the show and the show is called good girls it is on hulu and there is so much going on in this show let me tell you oh and the decisions the decisions that these girls make one girl in particular oh i don't know i don't know how she does it i really don't know like oh, some of the like you would think if you're gonna do something, you won't, you know, jeopardize getting caught by doing something else stupid. See, I can't even explain to y'all what the issue is without telling y'all the, you know, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> but that is definitely, definitely, definitely a good show. It's funny. It's mostly funny. It's definitely mostly funny, but um, there's a little bit of romance in there. And I know, I know y'all have seen some of the um, some of the tweets on Twitter and stuff where they talk about it. But that's a good show. They made some dumb, stupid decisions, but it's a good show, and it'll keep you coming back 
to watch more of it basically which is what you want in a show you want a show that's going to make you want to watch more you know so that's what i consider a good show is if i'm like constantly coming back and you know wanting to watch it that is a good show for me so right now i'm using the fit me by maybelline i believe is this a maybelline or revlon no it's maybelline and i'm using the color 368 but it's a little too dark for me so i have to mix it I need like a new foundation so we'll let you girl know The next show, oh, okay. So the next show is on Hulu and it is called Claws. I honestly am really nervous to work with this wig. I did, I had did a twist out on it, but the crazy part about it is I feel like the twist out looked exactly how the hair looked when it came out the pack <laughs> when i unboxed it i feel like it looked exactly the same so i'm thinking that maybe i did something wrong or what because i mean it didn't look bad but it didn't look how i was um it didn't look like how i was wanting it to look you know you know when you have a look in mind that you want something to look like and then when it comes out it don't look like that so it's just like did i do something wrong or and i'm using the airspun loose powder just to set my face really quick um so yeah back to this wig i've had this wig maybe um a week now and i haven't really worn it because I've just had to figure out like how I want it to look and stuff. Like I've just haven't been able to master the curls yet. And so that's the reason why I haven't really um just kind of worn it. But I'm gonna keep trying because it's such it, the hair is so like it's great quality hair. It's soft, but actually very easy to work with. Um I've been watching a lot of tutorials and I'm basically just using the wig as if it was i'm basically just styling the wig as if it was my own hair so that has really helped a lot but i still just haven't gotten the look that i want from it but i'm gonna keep trying because i am not a quitter okay we do not quit over here on this end okay we don't quit mm -mm. we may circle back and rethink it but we're not gonna quit because that's just not that's not in me so definitely going to keep working on it until i get it right i'm just going to go in and i'm going to bronze my face with this essence sun club mount sub sun club matte bronzing powder palette i'm just going to go in and bronze my face hopefully this all looks good hopefully the lighting and stuff looks good because again y'all i'm still working on it so I'm still working on everything, so as always, if y'all have any tips or suggestions for me, I would love to hear them. You know, health is wealth, what, knowledge is power, knowledge is, you know, insert your own slogan here, okay? Just help your girl out. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite, 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 favorite shows is Grownish. Oh my god, I love Grownish. I love that show so much. It brings back so many good memories, so many good college memories that I had. Me and my girls turning up. Y'all, there's so many stories where they found me outside just chilling because I was drunk. <laughs> but that show brings back like good memories for of like good memories like that for me. So I see a lot of people re-watching Grey's Anatomy, but girl do you know how many seasons that is i've watched it once okay it's good but i cannot watch it again no not doing that to myself i think that's gonna wrap it up for the makeup for the face okay it's time to work on this hair 
let's get into this hair. This is what I'm most nervous about. So I have kind of two little plat, four plaits going on right now. That's typically how I keep the hair when I'm not, um, when I'm not, you know, have it when, when I'm not wearing it, I usually just put it in some plaits so it doesn't tangle up or anything. I'm nervous. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. I'm just gonna take these twists out. How is this hair still wet? Like, I'm just confused. That's one side and it's already coming up. Ooh. That's two. This side. If y'all want to see an unboxing of this unit, definitely let me know because I filmed it, but I filmed it in parts because I messed up a lot, so. <laughs> but I can definitely like piece it together if you guys are wanting to look at that. So, I'm going to refrain from using my fingers anymore. And I'm going to go and get kind of like a pick of some sort and probably some pins so I can get to styling this for you guys. So we can wrap this up. Magic in your fingertips, it's magic when we kiss. I can be myself with you, kiss me now I insist. Make me yours, just take me now, I'm helpless to resist Got me so invested in this thing, it's more than just a fling It's more than just a fling